Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Jada the Jammer. We back again on the Defiance 17 gaming laptop from PCSpecialist.co.uk. And we're running that NVIDIA 970M. And today, today, <laughs> we're going to try and play this, this recall game. Like, I never even heard about this coming out. I never saw it in E3. I mean, I might have seen it in E3, but it didn't really, like get my attention that much. I mean, not compared to Zelda Breath of the Wind, anyway, or Breath of the Wild, whatever it's called. So, um, I saw someone playing this on YouTube the other day. I thought, yo, that game looks quite dope. And, um, when you buy it on PC, it also downloads to your Xbox One as well. And my little brother's got my Xbox One, so I thought I would download it so that he could play it and I could play it. And we both cool. And it's £30. £30 is the price that a game should be when it first releases. What is this £50? I ain't paying £50. Okay, when Gears of War 4 comes out, I might pay £50. Okay, I will admit that. Okay, when Forza Horizon 3 comes out, I might... Ah, uh, okay, when... do you know what? Forget about them two games. We're going to play some recall right now. Um, Played a bit yesterday. It was quite dope. Kind of little... I think it's... I think it... I don't think there's any, like, previous versions of this game. So, um, it's like a new IP for um Xbox, Windows 10. Um... Uh, yeah, it looks, it feels quite decent, plays a bit arcadey, I like a little bit of arc. It reminds me of Lost Planet. You know, it's got that Capcom arcade feel to it kind of thing, if you get what I mean. Um, and you know, you don't really get that nowadays, not in most um, games anyway. So I thought, you know, we'd give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a play. First mission was quite decent, there was a little boss. Got all this, there's like this little central hub bit now. I'm going to try just get into... Let me try to turn off the light. Yeah, let's turn off the light. Hope this works. I'm going to try and get into some central gameplay and we're going to just... We're going to just go outside and um, have a look around. See the logbook for more information. Come on over to the workbench now. Oh my gosh, i got to do all this first. Okay. Um, You might want to skip like a minute ahead, guys. I'm going to just do this real quick. There we go. What I'm doing now, guys, is it's got a little bit of a crafting element in the game, so you can find parts in, like, gameplay. Um, you can get them and then craft them, and then you can add them to your robots and stuff like that. It's all that crafting section. I'm not really going to go into it that much. I'm just going to go into the gameplay, because that's what I wanted to show you guys. And more importantly... I wanted to show you guys the performance on the 970M. So if we go into video, we'll see that, look, we got 19 by 1080, we got very high, we got ultra, and we've got everything on camera motion blur. Let's put that onto local blur, whatever that means. What? Look, there's lots of different types of blur. What the hell is reconstruction? Reconstruction DX11 and reconstruction disc. What the hell does that even mean? Nobody even knows what it means. <laughs> but um, we go get it anyway. It's cool. There we go. Oh, that looks. Hey, that looks a bit. Looks a bit sexy there. But um, anyway, let's go outside now. Is this outside? Stash transfer. Okay, I've put stuff into my stash. Exit the crawler. There we go. Right, we're gonna go outside now. We're gonna go on a little journey. Oh yes. And you know I have to talk in this accent when we're going on a journey because it's going to be great. It's going to be lots of stuff. Yes. Yes, we're going to the granite steps. Oh, yes, the loading time is getting on my nerves. Ah, oh, no, it's not. I must have this stored on my SSD. Sector, Let's get going. But, yeah, I've, oh, oh, I haven't got the frames per second counter, I just realized. But, um... It feels quite smooth. I mean, obviously, you're only going to see 30 frames per second because my phone is filming this at 30 frames per second. But look, there's some bad guys down here. Um, you've got a jump. You've got, like, a double jump as well. And you've got this kind of double jump boost kind of thing. And we're going to shoot these bad guys. Now, it's not free... It's kind of free aim and it kind of isn't, but, um... You know, it's kind of like little... You know those... It's, look, it's jump... Jump and boost, jump and boost... Hold R1 and it does this little charge shot, which breaks the shields. You can do like a little air dodge kind of thing. And then you got to extract. Oh. And then you got to extract. There we go. You get you get that stuff. And that, that's like a little collectible that will do something for you in a bit. 
There we go. Let's grab that. Okay. There we go. And all these little bits that I'm extracting out of the monsters, we can use them for crafting later and to um, boost up my robot. And this is my little robot dog. Yeah, I heard you get more robots in the game later on. Um, this is only the second level. It's quite a bit of a free roam game. There is a, a lot of a level. Like that, that hill up there. I can climb, no, 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 what, what is very far away? Let's, okay, there's nothing, I can't really see much from here. If we, if we can get to some, what, what's happening? Oh my gosh. Where's that guy gone? Oh, I'm just getting his shield down. God damn you. Right, let's just kill these guys first. Um, you've kind of got, like, infinite bullets kind of thing, but it does warm up, so when it gets all the way to the end, it says that you're out of ammo, but it does, um, it just comes back after you wait a while, it regenerates, so that's, that's alright for bullets. Um, where, where else can I go? Yeah, I was gonna go and find somewhere high, because, um, it seems like it's one of them games you can literally just go anywhere. Like, um, just have a little bit of free roam. I think she kind of climbs and mounts things when she gets into the right position. I mean, where should we... Where should we even... I don't even know. Can we make it up the top of there? Let's try and make it up the top of there. Right, there's no sprint. But she kind of sprints already. Oh, okay, I guess I can't go up there. Okay, I lied. Um, sorry guys, but oh, yo, that cloth is nice though, right? Look at that cloth. Yeah, we like that. Yes! So, um... <laughs> I'm trying to find something to do here. We're gonna... Oh, there we go. We got an objective over there. <coughs> Locate the offline terraforming pylon. Let's see how long it takes me to get over there. Um... But yeah, we're not really doing much in this gameplay. We're just like, you know, a little bit of performance of the NVIDIA 970M GTX graphics card. Three gigabytes of RAM. Oh, okay, that hurts me. Does my health regenerate? I don't believe it does. I have to collect a pickup if I want to get any health. So there we go. Okay. Let's interact with this. I'm not sure what's going on right here. And we're in. We're in. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's a bit of Bucky gameplay. Was the closest planet with an Earth-like atmosphere. It wasn't perfect, but it sure had potential. What is that? I heard something. But yeah, it's just a bit of a running gun, you know. A little third person, shoot him, dodge him. Extract the bullets and shit. There you go. Might give him the charge shot. Bam! Yes! Yes! Give me all your robot guts. And your dog, you can set your dog on people. Where's my dog gone? Where is my dog? Oh, hello. Yeah, so I'm um, gonna go. The core bots in this sector were corrupted too. Corrupted? There we go. I like this little air jump. It lets you get. Oh my gosh, have I got a. They got a bit of platforming going on in this game, I've just noticed. Um. Like, I'm going to have to try and double jump and then speed over to that, so let's try it. There we go. Okay. Pylon. It's totally grounded. What's over there? I know, Mac. Let's get to the pylon before that storm hits. I do like the graphics in this game, guys. I'm not going to lie. 
the graphics are looking very very sexy indeed okay so i need to get over there i guess i'm gonna do one double jump two double jumps and then b and we just made it or what's left of it anyway so um, i don't know if it's one of them games where like you can i can attack from a different side but oh my gosh what are those But, um, yeah, it seems like I can just go anywhere, like, oh, what is that down there? Oh. Is it just a flare? Oh, just some kind of flare, okay. They're just showing off their lighting, you know, we've got, <laughs> we've got excess budget to use on lighting effects, let's just put random flares in the ground. Are those canine frames? What are those? They don't look like any I've ever seen. Nope. Hope they can't get up here. Oh! Oh! Oh, they can get up here! Okay, I'm sorry. I even extracting you. I'm just gonna blow you up. Who shoot me from over there? Oh, you guys again. Give me your heart, yes! Ah, oh, didn't manage to do it. Someone must have modified the frames. But why? Oh, what is that? Why is it flashing? That must be special. There we go. Yeah, so, um, as you can see, guys, quite good performance on the NVIDIA 9... Oh, wait. On the NVIDIA 970M. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below, like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you have, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you've got this game already and how you feel about it, I mean I've only, this is only level 2, and I haven't really done much if I'm honest, but um, yeah, ReCore for Xbox One and PC, um, it looks, I like the gameplay wise, it looks cool so far. I can see that this might get repetitive. Um, from what I heard, it's, um, there's not that much more that you do from what you do at the start of the game. So the game doesn't really differ in terms of her abilities. But, um, yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. G. Jemmo.